at Trending Topics community. Once upon a time, there was a Bulgarian company called Bismarck Technologies that wanted to save the world's bee population from extinction. In 2016, they went through the social entrepreneurship challenge Chivas the Venture and gained worldwide popularity. We haven't heard much of them in the past two years, up until December when they came back with new brand and as the second most heavily funded company in the beekeeping technology. Now, it's interesting where they're heading, so we're going to their office today to ask them what's next for Polenity. We had the dream of creating sustainable future for the beekeeping industry and uh, of course we figured that the best way to do that is attack the commercial guys, the ones that have 96% of all the bees. So if we want to make impact, you go where you can make the most, right? Well, the market is not yet ready there and uh, we had to realize this the hard way. We, we went to the US so many times and pitched this idea and the product and uh, the, the beautiful design that we had to the beekeepers, yet it was not um, uh, received that well. And we started selling it. We got all the necessary certifications. We created a beautiful product. We packed it in a nice little box and we started selling it. We, we put it out there in the world. But what happened is 99% of all the customers that we have are small beekeepers, hobby beekeepers, people that are just interested in the data. So we had to learn from that. You went through Chivas The Venture and secured your first funding. You are a huge media star. Oh. And after that, uh, somehow the ecosystem did not see you that much. What happened in the past four years? Well, we got down to business. Uh, basically, uh, that's always what, what happens with hardware startups. You get out there, you pitch your mission, your vision, your, uh, your dream, and then you get down to business. You get some funding, you prototype. It's, it's hardware, so it's hard and it takes time. Basically, we are working uh, with A1 Telecom out of Austria um, uh, on uh, creating some synergies about analytics and uh, to, to, to create more meaning of what we are getting. Because we have created a great product that is capable of leveraging on some unprecedented data, but uh, the, the ecosystem of the honeybees themselves is so intricate and sophisticated that it takes a lot of um, a lot of brains to work together to really make the most of that uh, information. So, using um, the, the information about the vibrations of the honeybee colony, we are capable of pinpointing some very peculiar events. Like, for example, when the, the, the honeybee colony has um, a queenless situation, so basically the queen of the colony uh, is absent for some reason, we can detect that and we can save that colony by providing the information um, uh, soon enough to the, to the beekeeper. In the previous conversation, you told me that you're adding additional, very interesting layer on top of your model. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, a few. So one of the reasons why we believe that 2019 is going to be our year is because we have created a lot of strategic partnerships. So first, there is a cryptocurrency project in which we uh, are going to be the, the only tech provider. So basically, in the cryptocurrency project, uh, it's called Buzzcoin, and those guys are going to uh, help create sustainable practices for beekeepers. How are they going to do that? Well, basically they're going to reward everybody who is taking good care of the bees. And how do they determine that uh, somebody is taking good care of the bees? 
uh, through our technology. We put our sensor devices into the beehives of the people that are going to be um, uh, subscribers to the, to the crypto project. And basically the device is a miner. So yeah, we have been working uh, with them for, uh, for a lot of time since last year and uh, now we are ready to launch. Uh, one other company that we uh, actually partner on a technological level is Hyber. Uh, they're a satellite company from uh, Dutchland and uh, the Netherlands. And um, those guys are actually launching satellites to, to basically uh, create an IoT network of devices that speak to the, to the space. So we are in partnership with them to create the first ever uh, B analytical system that uses satellite communication. Um, and speaking about partnerships, uh, another great project that we're just starting in April is uh, Hivopolis. So Hivopolis is uh, something that we're going to be working on with uh, five universities from Europe to create the beehive of the future. Again, we want to be the trendsetters and to create the sustainable practices for the beekeeping industry in the years to come. So partnering with uh, some of the best universities out of um, uh, Germany, Austria, uh, Switzerland uh, is going to, to allow us to, to create some new technologies. And again, be, uh, b our uh, company, Polenity, is going to be the only tech provider and commercial company in that uh, partnership. What could we expect from Polenity in 2019? A lot. So basically we are creating a, a, a new product which is uh, going to serve to people that are not beekeepers. So anybody who wants to be a beekeeper, who wants to start the craft of beekeeping but has never before um, uh, dared to do so, now has the, technolo the technology to, to back him. We made uh, a few wrong turns, but I think that we are finally on the, on the verge of uh, becoming a, a profitable company. Mm -hmm.